What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you Jaden's wash day routine before starting his second two strand twist lock journey. So let's get into it. So on the 6th of August 2020, I'd finally finished combing out Jaden's first set of locks. And if you're interested in knowing why I decided to comb out his locks, then please go ahead and check the cards above for further details. Nonetheless, once I was finished combing out his locks, I went ahead and secured his hair into a two-strand twist protective style before his next wash day. Now, interestingly enough, as we had just started packing to move homes, I wasn't able to wash his hair until we had fully moved into our new home, so it had been a couple of weeks after pulling out his locks before I was able to wash his hair. Now, as I've had someone in the past ask me whether or not it was a good idea to start their lock journey right after taking down their box braids, I figured that this would be a good example to show why it is important to start your lock journey on freshly washed hair. So, as you can see in this clip, Jaden had accumulated some buildup in his braids, and just like wearing box braids for some time, your protective style would have accumulated buildup. And this also goes to show that whether you're a loose natural or you're on a lock journey, you are prone to accumulating buildup if you keep your hair in any style for a long period of time. So this has nothing to do with product buildup, but more so environmental buildup. So after taking down his braids and detangling his hair, I followed up by sectioning his hair and applying shampoo to his scalp using my tinting brush. Now I use this method of application to ensure that his hair and scalp is thoroughly cleansed. And then I'll go ahead and massage the shampoo into his scalp to break up and remove all buildup. And once I'm happy with that, we move to the bathroom to add some water to his hair so that I could give his hair and scalp a thorough wash. And I'm still amazed at how much length he retained after combing out his locks. Now, if you're interested in finding out how I went about taking down Jaden's locks, then go ahead and click the link above to see how I went about doing this. Now, as mentioned in previous videos, which will be linked above and also in the description bar below, after shampooing your hair, you want to follow up with conditioning your hair strands to help with moisture retention because this helps to prevent the hair from becoming brittle and dry and eventually breaking off. So after washing his hair, I will be using my Hair We Grow Hair Growth Oil and my Moisturizing Hair Butter to further nourish his scalp and sealing the moisture into his hair strands. And when starting your lock journey, you want to definitely make sure your hair is moisturized. As mentioned in some of my previous videos, you don't want to start your lock journey with any pre-existing buildup as your starter locks would eventually have a very dull and grey appearance. And that's something we definitely do not want. So once again, before starting your lock journey, you want to make sure that you start on freshly washed and properly moisturized hair to ensure a healthy lock journey. Remember to go ahead and check the cards listed above and also in the description bar below for similar videos like this one. And also, don't forget to like, comment and share my content if you found it very helpful. So until next week Sunday at 6pm, we will be right back here with another video.